back on the syndicate again. Um, got here last night. It's, it's Friday today. Got here last night um, after work. Um, I put the Friday off, so it's very quiet on the lake because we want to have a person on, so it's quite nice. Um, again, uh, by the time I was set up, it was sort of dark, so I didn't do any filming as such. So I thought I'd do it in the light again. Um, yeah, really quiet night, really. I had, I had one run. Struck it and it come off after two seconds, so I'm a bit gutted about that. Um, the guy on the other side of the had a couple, um, so it's not really happened for me, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, I've got today, I could stay again tonight if I wanted to, but let's see how I get on. If it's not much action, then I probably won't stay again, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in the swim that I've been in a few times now. Um, like I said before, it is one of my favourites. Um, I, I did actually put some bait in um, on the Wednesday, come down after work and put some bait in, but initially I put some bait in down the bottom end, uh, that was on Tuesday, uh, and then I was speaking to a guy that was in, uh, he was down that sort of end, and he was catching more up this way on his right hand rod, so I decided to come up this side, um, it should be quite sunny today, so when the sun comes out they do get up into the shallower end. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we get something. But um, I'm using a new uh, a new bait actually. It's a, uh, a nutty bait, so it's, it's tiger nut, tiger nut and maple is what it is. So it's, um, I just thought as it's getting colder, it, it could be worth a shot. But because I, I, I know that uh, a few years ago Sal did really well on here, so that's a similar sort of bait. You know, it's a nutty bait. Um, but yeah, see how we get on. Well. Just as I think it wasn't going to happen for me, the left hand rod screamed off. The result absolutely cracking 27 pound coin. Look at that, gorgeous, most golden fish. So, on the left hand rod, just at the margin. Uh, I didn't put up much of a fight to be honest. Just sort of coming, coming all dogged. And then when I got it in the net, it went mental. It's still not very happy now. Absolute corker. She goes. Wow, <laughs> what a result that is. Um, yeah, I was just giving up hope really, thinking it's not going to happen for me. But I, um, I'd recast the left hand rod just before that. Right, it was about 15 minutes before that. So just recast it with a fresh um, stringer on there, just a free bait stringer. Um, and actually, I added. Um, a pop of sweet corn as well because before it was just a straight bottom bait so I put a, sweet, a yellow just fake sweet corn on there and yeah it's tore off um struck into it and not a lot was happening really I thought you know I just it was just sort of bending into it and it was coming in it coming all the way down the margin and then went out into open water a little bit but literally just come straight in um pull it in the net and just as it went in the net that's when it it kind of woke up yeah it went mental in the net but got it in so yeah it's really happy um I don't really, I don't really recognise that fish. To be fair, um, it had kind of a ghosty to it as well. But yeah, cracking fish. Um, all the fish at the moment. I've been speaking to a couple of lads uh, sort of this week, and all the fish are up sort of two, three pound. Um, 
So yeah, it's, it's a time to catch a big one. It's this time of year. I love it. It's yeah, a lovely time of year to fish. So yeah, I'm happy. So yeah, I did. Um, I did come last weekend. Um, before that, I hadn't been for a good sort of, I don't know, a good month. Um, I've been on holiday for a couple of weeks. But yeah, I come last weekend, uh, Friday night, overnighter again, and I managed three. Um, I was fishing um, down towards the middle of the lake, uh, just out in open water. And yeah, two small ones and a, a lovely 21 pound mirror. Nice dark fish, and lovely scale pattern. So yeah, that was a result. Um, I haven't done that in a separate vlog, I thought I'd just include it in this one, just because it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been very long, so it makes sense just to sort of join them together. But yeah, so um, a couple of results, two weeks in a row, it's nice. Get in. in the net. Line the rod in the tree and put the net together. <laughs> in the retaining sling just in the margin so that's safe it's literally just about to show you and this rod's gone screaming off Just about to show you this fish, and the right hand rod screen and the left hand rod screens off. This is on the right hand rod. Um, same again, bottom bait with pop up corn. It's 
22 and a half pound, another common. I do seem to catch commons. Result, and it's all kicked off. So I've got the other one in the net, and obviously the net was broken down. This was on the mat. I got most of it on video. I had to get this one back in the water while I was playing it, and then I managed to balance the rod in the tree. So it was playing the fish for me while I uh, put the net together. So let's get this one back, and then we'll have a look at the other one. I don't think it's as big, but it's a carp. ready. There's a second one, not as big like I said but still welcome. It's, you know, scrape a double, a really cool scale yeah. pattern on its back. But yeah, let's get it back and get those two rods back out. Right, well that was a bit mental. Um, yeah, it's mad. I don't, you know, it's, that's carp fishing. Um, obviously first thing this morning I thought it wasn't going to happen for me, a bit deflated. I seen the guy over there, I'd had a couple. And then I had that 27, which, yeah, you know, made up for everything. And then, yeah, two at once. <laughs> 22 on the right hand rod. Um, I mean, that, that was a bit of a twitchy take, to be fair. It initially, it looked like a liner, so the bomb went up and slowly far back down. So I got out, so it went by the rod, and then it started lifting up again. So I struck into that. Yeah, I had that, and literally, yeah, got it in. Just about to do a bit of filming and show it, and the left hand rod went. Um, just a small double that one, but yeah, really happy. Um, you know, free fish within a couple of hours, really. It's now, what's the time now? It's now quarter to 12. Um, whether or not I stayed tonight, I don't know. Um, I think this time of year, this swim is more of a day swim, really. Uh, it is the shallower end, so I think the sun was out, so the sun's come out a bit and they've moved into the shallower water. Um, they've probably got on the bait a little bit as well, I mean, the 27 and the 22 were, yeah, you know, uh, crapping my bait out all over the mat, so they've definitely been on it, which is a really good sign. Um, but hopefully, yeah, we'll get some more, I mean, we've got, if I go home today, it won't be until a good few hours, so... I mean, if I stay, I'll be going home earlier in the morning because I've got work, so, yeah, tough one, but happy so far. another one and it's something a bit special it's the biggest fish I've had since blogging it's a lovely one thirty pounds and four ounces Lovely chunky mirror. Look at that. If a side. Over the moon. So happy. 30 pounder for the camera. First 30 I've had this year. Let's get her back. What a result. Well, how about that? Um, yeah, blown away. Um, 
So chuffed. Um, yeah. <clears throat> We've got the rod back out. And that was on the left hand rod again. So it's the one closest to the margin. Um, yeah, it just, just pulled it tight. Struck into it. Um, and then it put up a good fight to be fair. A good 10 minutes. Um, it was just kited all the way out in front. Went all the way to the right and then back again. And then was just wallowing around for a while. Uh, got it in the net. And I actually, I recognised the fish when it was in the net. Um, and a guy I know on here, he had it last weekend, actually. Um, was it, yeah, last weekend at £30 dead on. And it's a new 30 for the lake. Like I said before, the uh, all the fish are up sort of 2 or £3. It's usually just um, an upper 20. So it's normally sort of £28. 27 28 usually. But I had it at £30, 4 ounces. And yeah, so, yeah, dead chuffed. Um, so I thought I'd show you the rig. Um, this rig, I've got this now on both rods uh, since this morning. Since I had the, the 27, I changed both to it. Um, it's 7 to 8 inches as usual. I have the fusion coated braid. And then um, it's just got like an inch sort of unstripped by the hook. And then that's the setup there. So it's just straight to a size 6 armor hawk curve hook. And then there's a piece of silicon just trapping it. And that's opposite the barb. Um, initially, um, before I lost the, the first fish, the first run I had, which I lost, I had just a straight bottom bait on there with the silicone right around the bend like I've been using before. Um, and I lost that fish, and the hair was a little bit longer, so I thought, right, shorten the hair, and I added a piece of fake sweet corn. Um, and all that does is add a little bit of buoyancy, obviously a little bit of colour as well. Um, and I haven't lost one since, so it seems to have done the trick. Um, I think that just helps it obviously fly in the mouth a bit further. But with it having a bit of buoyancy, I didn't want the um, silicone right around the bend anymore. Because um, that works best when it's just straight bottom bait, in my opinion. So yeah, that's the change that I did. And that's the rig that has caught all the fish this session. Um, they've all been nailed. And yeah, happy days. So hopefully it continues to work. Um, I've got to decide now whether I stay another night, but... I've, the problem is, I've run out of bait, <laughs> which is a bit of a problem. Um, Schoolboy era didn't bring enough. I didn't think they'd be on it this much, to be honest. But So I'm going to speak to a couple of friends, see if they can help me out. Um, I don't really want to stay another night if I've got no bait, to be honest. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. Got another one. Now half free. <clears throat> Left hand rod again. It's just gone up tight. Struck into it. It's another common. It's another 22. 22 pound. Four ounces this one. Again, it's got that kind of funky scale pattern across the back. Which is quite strange because the small one I had earlier I had that as well, so yeah, I'm on a roll now. A bit of damage on this side, well, it's healed anyway. A few missing scales, and she is cracking. This is actually my 20th 20 of the year, first time I've ever done that. Um, so it's, uh, that's what I set out to do this year. I said to myself, I'd like to get 2020s. It's a real chaff. Not only that, I've had a 30, so yeah. Absolutely blinding session. Get a couple of pictures and I'll uh, get her back. And another one, a um, little bit smaller this one, but very pretty, and still welcome. Nice little scaly one, one for the future. 16 pound, lovely. Oh. Very lively. All right. This is the other side. Nice scary fish, lovely. Don't mind that when it's ten pound bigger. 
Still very welcome now though. I'll slip her back. Let me get some more. Right, so uh, it's been a really good day. Um, as you can imagine, I'm very happy. Uh, decided to stay another night. I've got a friend bring me some bait up, which is very good of him. And a lifesaver, because I've literally got two hook baits left and that's it. Um, so it's very much needed. Um, but yes, hopefully um, the night brings some more fish. And uh, just want to get some more bait out there really. I want to keep them in the area. Um, but yeah, I've got the rods back out now. It's going to be dark soon. Uh, so it'll probably be the last sort of vlog until the morning unless I have a fish. Which, if it carries on the way it's been today, it's a good chance. So yeah, um, I will, we'll get back to you if I get a fish. fish last night um, unfortunately didn't really do any filming all it took was a couple of pictures um, mainly because it was either raining really heavily or um, I had no sort of light source uh, the uh, battery was gone on my phone so I couldn't use that sort of for filming um, which obviously has a light on it uh, so yeah I've got a couple of pictures and the first one I had was it um, it's about what is it nine nine o'clock at night. That was just a little sixteen pound linear, nice little fish. Um, and then I had a nineteen pound mirror. Uh, that was at half one in the morning. And then at half three, I had a um, twenty one pound common, twenty one pounds ten ounces, I think it was. So yeah, a few more nice fish. Um, it's now. 10 past 8, uh, I'll be leaving about 11, 12-ish probably, so a bit of luck, I'll get something else, but I'm not complaining, so I've had uh, 9 fish I think it is now, so yeah, <laughs> brilliant sash, um, I couldn't ask for much more really, you know, it's, yeah, it's been cracking, um, you know, I've been using um, the, new, the new bait as well, and it's what start for the new bait really, it's, yeah, it's Brilliant. Um, like I said before, it's a nutty bait, so it's 50% it's, uh, tiger nut meal, and then the rest is like milk proteins, and then it's got a flavouring of maple. So it smells nice to us, um, and obviously the fish like it as well. Four or five of the fish, you know, have been excreting the bait out all over the mat, so they obviously have been eating it and obviously like it. Um, it went a bit quiet last night, and I think that's because I ran out of bait. Um, my mate didn't come until. It was about eight, half eight, with the uh, with the bait for me. So I, you know, I stuck a good sort of kilo of that straight out, and within an hour I was getting fish again. So I think without any bait there, they were just moving off and not that interested. But as soon as the bait's there again, it gets them moving around and looking for food. So yeah, um, repositioned the rods at first light about an hour ago, uh, and a little bit more bait out. Yeah, is there anything else to come along? And if it does, I will see you soon. Hello, got another one there. It's another cracking carp. It's half past nine. I just landed. It's another corker. Twenty four pounds and eight ounces. Lovely. So many nice fish this session. It's been brilliant. This is fish. 
position number 10. And if this is what I end on, I will not complain. Look at that. Awesome. Nice one. A couple of pictures and we'll get her back. Right, um, never cracking fish. Ooh, little beep on the left hand rod. Um, it's not far off sort of home time for me. I've got. I'd love to stay. To be fair, I'd probably have a good chance of a few more today, but I've got work commitments, so I'll be leaving in the next hour. One last cup of tea. Start packing up. That's probably the last one. Um, might nick another one, but I'm not too bothered. <laughs> Um, yeah, brilliant session. Um, can't complain, first time out with a bait. Um, I did put a little bit of bait in before I came the day before, so I think that helped. And yeah, it's just, it's been really good. Um, I mean, October is my favourite time of the year to fish, without a doubt. It's, you know, the fish, usually, most of the time, are on the feed. Um, they're at their biggest weights and yeah it's just it's lovely so uh, I don't know when I'll next be down um, I won't be down for a good couple of weeks probably but yeah really chuffed so yeah this is it for me thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and um, doing it and uh, don't forget to sub subscribe Cheers.